MacBook hard drive spun its last boot sector. So I took from this Toshiba satellite its hard drive. This is the chassis. I took it off so that way it would fit in the MacBook. It actually fit with this on the hard drive like this, except on the Toshiba hard drive. Uh, but whenever I booted into the XP CD, it wasn't reading any partitions. But when I took off the chassis, I could feel it secure itself inside the MacBook. And then, so, this is the first boot. It just got back from the getting devices ready screen. I really should have recorded all of this, but I wasn't sure if it was going to work. But I really need to actually start recording all this. And as you can see, it's worked out. And I hadn't been on this hard drive in a good second. Because I lost the charger for this Mac, or for the Toshiba, so hadn't been using it. And so this is very interesting. And now we got Windows 8 on here. And might install Windows XP over it. But I wanted to boot into Windows 8 before I did that. <laughs> that is good. It's pretty cool. Wonder what drivers we got going on here. <laughs> uh, I was like typing while holding this. Uh, that's just some widget thing. So luckily, no operating system. Well, I wonder if it saves. Alright, I bet it would. Yep, it did. And there's the device management I entered in 2022. Sometime on that Toshiba. Should have recorded the entire process, but you didn't miss much. It was just booting, getting devices ready, like you'd expect. As you can see, that's pretty cool. Got all my games and everything like that. I might dual boot this Windows 8.1 and Windows XP on here rather than just overwrite it because this is pretty sick and these macbooks they don't just like boot to windows usb boot master boot record like you'd want it to unless you're going through a boot camp install in some particular way but usually for me that type of thing won't work out so the cd it boots from windows cd is nice so until i get my hands on some cdrs uh and Windows 8.1 uh, DVD artist. And that's pretty cool. Just already got Windows 8.1 on it. Well, another thing is, you know, I was thinking about doing it. You hook up these hard drives, these mobile hard drives, onto through SATA and power connector on uh, my main PC and use the HDD there. This little tool right here, where you can uh, put an ISO, you can link a virtual hard drive. Although the best way to do that is open in disk management, mount in a virtual hard drive, and then I'll be able to clone an entire uh, virtual machine's OS onto a mobile uh, hard drive 
screw my main computer, put it inside the MacBook, and then easily bypass any nuances that I'd have to go through. And look at that. I just ran out of a recording space on my phone, but now we are back. Now that is cool. It has the network adapter already installed, the driver for it. That is cool. The Broadcam 802.11. Now, I, I waited to expand all of this, but on this flash drive, should have the boot camp files for whatever drivers else I just might need. Let's see if these display adapters are the standard VGA. I bet they are. Look at how slow this is going. Look at that coprocessor. That was the same. Yep, the Microsoft Basic. So this uh, MacBook has a GT 9400M in it, I believe. <clears throat> First through researching, I found that it had the 730i. But that turned out to not be the driver that was automatically installed. So it made a lot of sense why the GT 730i drivers were never actually installing. I was trying to insert that USB the right way and then still wasn't going in. There it goes. <laughs> now this is cool. Why is Windows 8.1 cooler than Windows 11 to me? I wonder if it's the novelty or what. So insane. Windows 8 was like 2012. But it's already become uh, 10 years since this. Let's look at that start button. That will be cool. I just clicked the Windows key. And the quote unquote one, which would be this on here. And this is a 2009 model, but on that 2007 model of the MacBook, they actually have the Apple logo on those keys. It's pretty cool. start menu does not like this basic display adapter. Now I kind of just want to go back to the desktop and install the graphics driver before I even try this.
click that window is skinny. But it really wants to finish that process. Pulling those tiles up. Driven with the boot camp. Track control alt delete. Hopefully, I'm not just overloading it, but I don't want to waste too much screen time with this. And I'm not really set up with a video editor at the moment where I just know that I could fast forward through it for you. I'm back. I ran out of storage on my phone, so cleared it up. But this is loaded up. That is sick. Got my Visual Studio on there. And virtual box and VMware all of it. Whether I can get a network connection. As I said, I had my network adapter. But I do not see any network icon. Wow, the sensitivity is high on this cursor. <laughs> really wish all this would stop. Open up all task manager. <laughs> I do not have it in my recents. That is insane. Really hope it just gives me the end task option. I'm hoping to make it too unresponsive. There we go. <laughs> nice. Now let's just try to get to that USB.
<laughs> Those are just some lottery tickets I got from my parents for Christmas. I don't know if you see those out of the corner. <laughs> uh, I had to collect a couple over there. Cause I haven't even scratched them. I don't know why. Because we already know how far away Christmas is by now. Or what? This thing is running so slow. It's gonna be running so much faster getting XP on here. Uh, with this MacBook. Or Windows 7. Windows 7 would be pretty cool. But optimally, I would love to have Windows 2000 on here. It would flow so well with the white. Hmm. And that. And those discords. That. Yeah, it's a lot of disk usage going on. Hmm. At least it's not like the hard drives that I had in here before. I, it was dying. I like hear it creaking. And so I ran the scan and tried to repair the, any damaged sectors. Damn, that seems to be. But in the morning, I found a hard drive that was less than intact. I tried to boot into it, but I stayed on the white Mac OS screen. So I put in my XP CD, and then for some reason it boots into it. That's my easy to boot. I wonder if I actually have the boot camp on there. Huh. Nah, I don't. Yeah, I thought it was on that flash drive, but it's no big deal. Where's the safely remove option? That's funny. I'll just do it from File Explorer. Okay, I see it's managed drive tools. I'm used to Windows XP on here. Eject. Always safely remove your hardware. Check this flash drive. Really hope. There we go. Nice. I was trying to install Combat Evolved on, on here, on Windows XP on that other hard drive, but it died. Because it kept having that, those right catch errors, making the sounds of death. So that's why I tried to run some reparations. I plugged it into my main computer over here. And then in disk management, it would show up. But it would say you have to initialize it in order to use it. Anytime I try to initialize it using master boot record or GPT, it would not say that that disk was no longer accessible. And I 
cleaned it and this part and all that. But that hard drive is done for. So it's really nice to have this one in here and have this MacBook flowing again. And it's very cool seeing Windows 8.1 on this MacBook. It's the first time I've used <laughs> Boot camp times 64. Ah, uh, why are you saying that's times 64? Let's see. We'll do it manually. NVIDIA. Because I was wondering when booting from this, like, is this thing going to be 64 bit? Video chipset is still 32. Let's see. But also, let's open up some other folder. Pretty cool. I got the room on here still. Silent Hill. Let's look at uh, system properties really quick. Should have my singular gigabyte of RAM in here. I had two, but I moved into my other laptop while that hard drive wasn't doing too good. Uh, plus one gigabyte is good enough for XP. <laughs> wow, this computer is 64-bit compatible. That is cool. One gigabyte of RAM. There's the Core 2 Duo. Now that is cool. Yeah, put the two gigabytes in here, considering this has the working CD drive. But this one, this MacBook has a crack in it. I, it was like that when I got it, so the other one's in like pristine condition. Uh, I'll include it in some other videos. Uh, it, has, it has the little Apple logos on the keys, it's 2007. It has the two, because this one has the NVIDIA graphics. That one, I believe has integrated graphics, but I really should hook up, because uh, I was thinking about, since this one has the working DVD drive, put this one into my other MacBook, uh, and then I already have Windows on it, because right now it just has Mac OS, and it seems hopeless of getting Windows installed on it without the DVD drive working so far. Uh, and then put that other hard drive in here, from the other MacBook, and then I can install Windows XP on it through the DVD drive, just like that. Uh, oh yeah, I'm in the 32-bit. Uh, this this is not what we want. I don't think. I wonder if it could, but yeah, let's cancel. Let's go back and choose the 64-bit, because I was just assuming it was 32-bit, because I didn't know that these computers supported 64-bit, but it makes sense of the Core 2 Duo. I've always seen Core 2 Duos running Windows 7, 64-bit. Yes. Here we go. We're about to be able to view the start menu. There's no lag. Now if you're wondering why that little calculator is right over here on this computer, that's the actual Windows 2000 calculator I got on Windows 11 going. And 
Here's some uh, horrifying math. 23 minus 1006. That's 17. But 23 plus 17. That'll be 2040. Go ahead and reboot. This is a long restart. Phone just showed low battery. I'm gonna grab that charger real quick. Let's see. I wonder if I can just do this. Now we are back. We're gonna see if. We can actually get that display driver working. I believe we've tried to run this setup. And bad results. Oh yeah. It's not supported on here. Yeah, it was that version of setup. Huh? We'll, we'll try that one. And I bet that one's not going to work. Yeah. Let's go and see. Yeah. 
video graphic. Okay, I see we chose the chipset. <laughs> now we need the graphics mobile vista. That is good. Knowing that there's a way out. All we have to do is run this setup. It should be good. I need to get the backlight control installed and make it a lot e more readable. My iPhone that I'm recording this on keeps it running out of storage. Even though I just offloaded all the footage I just recorded, which was like 17 minutes worth. I should have enough space, but it's about to cut out again, probably. It's like not registering that I deleted those. Maybe because I have it pulled up on my computer still. I don't know. I'll plug my phone from it. seems to be going. So it's the Windows 7 display drivers. Folder lied. Stolen driver components. Now it is done, and I'm just going to restart the system. And now we should have the display driver.
Alright, now it is done restarting. Let us see how that display adapter is doing. Hopefully now everything load up a lot quicker. The graphics acceleration going. Sorry for the shakiness. And also, it's cool. You can see the network icon down there now. And it's just some screen recorder. go into my startup get rid of all this stuff Let's see if I can get a device manager pulled up This Windows 8.1, I'm really going to want to put the 2 gigabytes of RAM back in here from my other MacBook. I just did that because for a while this thing was sitting because it had Mac OS High Sierra on it. And it randomly uh, wouldn't boot. I guess that was the first sign of that hard drive failing. So I ended up with like, why not until I get an OS on here. And then with Windows XP, it wasn't too big of a deal to upgrade to 2 gigabytes, and it was nostalgic seeing 875 megabytes of RAM. <laughs> it made it look more vintage. But with this, it would really help having that extra gigabyte of RAM. I'm sure. So, that's my bad for not installing it before this video. Like, I really should have. I should not have opened that. I'll explore. I was going to test how quick all of this is going to be going. Like, test the graphics adapter, but there we go. Yeah, that is not the, dis the standard display adapter. It would not be doing that. It's good. How smoothly it moves. I'm gonna raise our synapse down there. All that. Feels really nice actually having a working hard drive on here again. Now, let's see. Is that the 9400M that's gonna show? It should be. 
Here we are. 9400M. Hell yeah. What should I watch? Let's go ahead and watch Call of Duty World at War. I think that's a folder. I think I like changed the icon. I don't have my Call of Duty's in there. <laughs> it is struggling to open that file. Oh yeah, that's the COD folder. <laughs> I thought I was still trying to cycle that file we'll explorer. Huh, do I not have anything there? No connections available. Whoa. It was saying connections are available. No big deal. Let's try to launch Silent Hill. I got a slender. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna fare with one gigabyte of RAM. The startup time is getting to be a truth.
is cool. It'd be really cool getting Windows Vista on here. Alright, now let's see how Silent Hill runs. Very cool. It's running very smooth. On this display, it looks so crisp. Very clear. Trying to open that. There we go. Let's crawl through the hole. No. Oh shit. We are in the hole. Let's see how this performance goes. Oh yeah. So glad those dogs are still there. Has a few hangs, but I bet once I put two gigabytes in, it'll be playable as hell. And I'll get a screen recorder going on here. I'll record some footage with the two gigabytes in it. We'll see exactly how well this MacBook can game. <laughs> with the uh, DirectX 12. It'll be cool. A lot easier than recording with my phone like this. Wow, this is cool. It looks so clear. The display on that Toshiba satellite, it always had this weird slight blur. So, aw, oh, this is sick. Nice. And yeah. How do I swing my thing? Is it like a right click and on the MacBook don't have access to such to such commodity. Enter F R that. <laughs> We're defenseless until we plug in a mouse. That's no big deal. I'll get all that set up, and we'll be able to see how this goes. This video is just like, I used to have a YouTube channel in 2015. It like got hacked. Uh, I have not been able to recover it, but I used to do videos like this, just like if I was like installing a driver or whatever. I was like record the entire drilling process. Uh, now as far as watchability for you, I'm not sure how enjoyable this video has been, but I like having videos like this, just as an archive. So cool. 
Oh, it really is. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. This has been my Toshiba Satellites hard drive. It's hooked up on here. You guys have watched the entire setup from the first boot. The only thing you missed was the booting and getting devices ready. And it was seamless putting that hard drive in here and booting onto Windows 8.1. getting onto my old Silent Hill and even having my old saves intact is very cool. And of course I'll like get the sound drivers going. All of that. Yeah, now it's there's no hitches, now it's all loaded up. And this thing has 800 something megabytes usable, like 870 megabytes of RAM usable. Now it's in desperate need of those 2 gigabytes. I'll like put the 2 gigabytes in here and use this for the, you know, post XP OS's. Whichever one of my MacBooks has the post XP, I'll use 2 gigabytes of RAM and then whichever one has XP I'll just keep the one gigabyte because that is more than enough for XP I remember I used to have a Dell and Spron 8200 that's actually like this type of video just like recording the laptop and what I'm doing on it I used to do that with my Dell and Spron 8200 2002 it had Pentium 4 it had 256 megabytes of RAM I upgraded it to one gigabyte and felt like I was bathing in it. So good. DDR2. And had an NVIDIA GeForce 4 440 Go with 64 megabytes of video memory. And uh, the Pentium 4 at 1.60 gigahertz. Now that would say uh, 1.20, 1.60. I miss that laptop. I've been looking at more vintage laptops and seeing about what to get so that way I can actually do some like Windows 98 installs on those, Windows 2000, Windows 95, any of that, you know. Because with these MacBooks, anytime I try to install Windows 2000, it's like inaccessible boot drive. Uh, we'll see if uh, it'll actually be able to install. Maybe with a different hard drive. Maybe on the other MacBook's hard drive I can get Windows 2000 going. But that would be pretty cool. Let's see, what is going on here? Some kind of a station guide? <sighs> the text is all blurry and it's totally useless. I'm pretty sure that's true for you guys, even with this text. Huh, <laughs> huh. He is panting. He didn't enjoy the sprint. Let's put the title. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just let this video trail on. Let's see if it has my stick RPG too save and all of that. This makes me, because I was thinking I was going to just install XP on here, but I'm not sure if I'll do that because this is like such a relic to me. I like, I was playing on uh, that Silent Hill installation and all this like a year ago, or a, a year and a half. I'd come home from work and be playing this on Windows 8.1 on that Toshiba satellite. Pretty cool. Hell yeah. Let's see if it'll uh, shut down and I get enough time.
<laughs> there we go. Cool. Let's close that. <laughs> he even had Discord going and all that. 800 something megabytes of RAM usable. 870. Big deal. You don't need your wired file. Where are you going? Seventy-two megabytes usable. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it needs to quit trying. Oh god! I've never fixed my cursor. Use launch stick RPG two. It'll be simple enough. Hopefully, it'll be. Load up quick. If I could connect to the internet, help out. So I used to play Stick RPG 2 on my Dell and Spron 8200 with 256 megabytes of RAM. Let's do this, because then I can log into my XGen account. <laughs> yeah, but trying to connect to that network. Probably like too much disk usage. I wonder if it has a offline save of mine. Let's see, go offline. Nope. Interesting. Let's see. Log back in. No. Gotta relaunch it. No big deal. Let's see. Is not connected. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, there it goes. Nice. It's gonna say, why not? <laughs> Although it did say it's taking a bit longer than usual. Hmm. Wi-Fi 2 going. Hmm. Man, thinks Wi-Fi would be good. Wi-Fi 2 is not working. Nah, I don't know what it wants. There we go. We're connected to the interwebs. What more could you want? And there we go. This will most likely be smooth. <laughs> Why 
Well, it's taking it a little bit more to render. I would have thought. I got the Mac app on my one gigabyte RAM Mac with Snow Leopard. And I'm getting the real tech audio driver installed. After this, I'll end this video. This has all been recorded from 1 a.m. Uh, maybe the early recordings are 12 a.m. to now it's almost 3 a.m. Like so much of it was trying to figure out my uh, storage space. Huh. I'll like try to figure all that out. No. So I'm a lot more prepared next time. Because I did it on a whim. Realizing. Because I was going to go to sleep. But it was really get me down that that hard drive wasn't working and so I had this MacBook sitting here I couldn't boot to Windows anymore or any hard drive for the matter and I didn't want to just gut the hard drive out of the other one and then have no usable hard drive so this is sick um, works perfectly I'll just slip the hard drive from here and the other laptop and once I get power supply for it we'll see what that laptop can do with that hard drive but I'm pretty sure that it's done for because like I said I hooked it up to my computer with my main PC over my right and it could not read anything from it I tried booting from it and said some files were missing and all that For some reason, this can't boot from it too well. Not anymore. What is it doing?
<laughs> I heard a little speaker pop. It's, a, it's doing something. There we go. Let's uh, restart it later. We'll just see if it can play audio right off, right off the bat. that made that little click noise. No audio slider. No. We'll see if Stick RPG 2 has the audio this time. wonder if it's going to be able to boot with a pending restart. sure whether I want to end it. I'll go ahead. Stick RPG2. What are you doing? It's, it's just not like you. Most lightweight little game. I guess with that pending restart, it's just not gonna. So, we're just gonna go ahead and restart. Let's go ahead and get this closed down. But thank you guys for watching. I'll have more videos of this MacBook. You'll be able to hear the audio in the next video for sure. Because I really need to get to bed. It'll be in like 3 a.m. and whatnot. I'll bid you guys adieu.